In the golden age of aviation, when the world was just awakening to the thrill of flight, there emerged a symbol of adventurous innovation and rugged exploration, the Ford Trimotor. A marvel of its time, this iconic aircraft embodied the spirit of an era defined by uncharted skies and the relentless pursuit of progress. Embraced by the visionary mind of Henry Ford, the Ford Trimotor, also known as the Ten Goose, took to the heavens in 1925 with its corrugated aluminum skin and three radial engines totaling well over a thousand horsepower roaring in unison. This was no ordinary plane. It was a testament to the audacity of those who believed that the sky was not the limit but a boundless frontier waiting to be conquered. As the trimotor graced the skies, it became the workhorse of early commercial aviation, connecting distant corners of the world and helping to introduce a generation to the wonders of air travel. Its unmistakable drone echoed through the hearts of its passengers and those who stared in wonder as it passed overhead. Now, incredibly, almost a hundred years later, some of these legendary aircraft are still taking to the sky, carrying passengers as they did nearly a century before. But today, the trimotor isn't just an aircraft. It's a flying relic of an era that embraced the challenges of exploration. Its rugged exterior still stands ready to take on turbulent weather, treacherous terrain, and carry high aloft the indomitable will of those who would tirelessly navigate the skies. Now today, when you buy a ticket for a flight on a Ford Trimotor, it's purely an exhibition flight. Operated by the EAA, the Experimental Aircraft Association, the plane does a yearly tour across the U.S stopping for a few days at a time at various airports. They give the waiting passengers rides and then move on to another area, like an old barnstormer. The money for the ticket goes towards simply maintaining the aircraft and keeping the history alive. Tickets run around $100 and the plane can carry 10 to 12 passengers. Now back in the day, that was an impressive number. And while you can't exactly call the trimotor spacious, the seats are surprisingly comfortable and the view is spectacular. A glance out the window at one of the underwing radial engines with the gauges mounted outside on the engine itself reminds you that this is an aircraft from a different time. It's a survivor, a machine that has lived long enough to become a legend during its own lifespan. The sound from the engines is on the edge of deafening. To talk to someone in the next seat requires shouting at them, and the engines shake the airframe seemingly right to the threshold of destruction, but the old plane takes it all in stride. With its thunderous soundtrack, it gently strolls its way through the sky, taking you on an elegant journey to a time when air travel was new and hopeful. Back then, the roar of the Ten Goose's engines was a call to adventure, a beckoning to the brave souls who climbed aboard, ready to defy gravity and soar into the unknown. From the dusty airfields of the American heartland to the remote outposts of the world, the trimotor etched its legacy into the tapestry of aviation history. Its corrugated wings sliced through clouds, carrying passengers across continents. It was a lifeline for the intrepid explorers, a conduit for the dreamers who sought to bridge the gap between distant horizons. The Ford Trimotor was not just an airplane, it was a symbol of the relentless human spirit, forever reaching for new heights. But as time marched on and sleeker, faster aircraft graced the skies, the trimotor gracefully descended from the forefront of aviation. It became a living relic, a reminder of the daring days when flight was still a romantic adventure and the world was a vast expanse waiting to be discovered. Even today, the Ford trimotor stands as a silent 
Sentinel, a nostalgic reminder of the era when aviation was more than just a means of transportation. It was a manifestation of humanity's unyielding desire to conquer the heavens and explore the great unknown. The Ten Goose may have retired from frontline passenger service, but it still lives on, and at this rate, there is no end in sight. Why not go on for another hundred years? For a pilot like myself, the ability to climb aboard an aircraft that was truly a pioneer in world aviation, 100 years after it was designed, hear the roar of the engines and look down as the distant ground rolls past, grants me a connection with the past that is truly priceless. Long live the Ford Trimotor. Thanks for watching this video from Heavy Metal Horizons. If you enjoyed it, please thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll talk to you soon.